So this is everything laid out that was just unpacked from your Seuss Lane box. Everything except the laptop, obviously. So the first thing you want to do is mount your pellet trap. I mounted it on a, a short pedestal that we had in the office here. You can either mount it on a wall using the three mount screws. Uh, there's two on the top, one on the bottom. Or you can use one of our pedestals, uh, which I did in another video. If you're interested in a pedestal, uh, just call the office 803-699-1800 um, and uh, we can give you a quote on, on one of the pedestals. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is mount your target onto your pellet trap. So after you have your target mounted, leave it open. And what you're going to do is open your white box and pull out your power supply. So I've already got a power supply unpacked. You're going to feed your power supply wire through the back of the target, not through the target hole, but between the bottom of the pellet catcher and the bottom of the target. You're going to feed that wire through and it's going to come up and you can just leave it laying right like that. Now the next thing you're going to do is feed your red data cable end. Okay, there's the red data cable end through that same slot. So you'll have to lift up the target a little bit, get it through there. And then just lay it right up here. So now I've removed the target from the pedestal, just for demonstration purposes. We're gonna hook up our cables now. So the cables have run, have been run from the bottom of the target up find the power cable. It's got the silver end. There will be a little connector right here. They're made so that there's only one place that that plug will plug in. So that's the only one it'll plug into is that black connector right there. Then we'll take our data cable and there's a connector right here. Turn it till it's oriented correctly because there's a there's a slot tab kind of deal. Screw it in, takes about uh, three quarters of a turn to tighten it up. Then what we're gonna do is tuck these wires behind this microphone. Okay, that keeps them out of the, the target window so that they won't get shot. Uh, it does happen. Then run this one, run these wires, continue down behind this microphone and out the bottom. Okay, so now you have your target closed. I've mounted our target on, on one of our uh, pedestals. Uh, it can also be purchased if you call the office 803-699-1800. Uh, we can give you a quote on a pedestal. But this is just for demonstration. <clears throat> so we've got our data cable and we've got our power supply. So the next thing you're gonna do, take your power cord out of its plastic wrapper. Plug this end into the power supply. There's only one end that'll fit. So we plug that end into the power supply. Then take your SNE, your SUS network interface, and you'll see a connection like this one right here. Okay? Plug this plug into that connection. On the other side is a black connection, all right? It's got sort of a, a rim around it. So we're gonna take that, plug our red data cable into the SNE. You have to turn it till it's oriented correctly, and then it snaps into the SNE. So now at the other end of the data cable, there's a USB connector. This will go into your laptop. So next, we'll take and plug in our target. So when you plug in your target, you might see some lights flashing on the inside, and then the light will light up. If the light doesn't light, go back and check your electrical connections. Make sure your plug is plugged in all the way inside into the board. Make sure the board is seated fully to the top because the, the, the main PCB slides into slots at the top 
Okay, so make sure it's fully seated. Make sure your power cord is plugged in fully here and that you have power at your outlet. So I have the data cable coiled just for this demonstration, but your laptop and your, your uh, USB end will be up at your firing point. So you've uncoiled your cable, your target is 10 meters downrange, 50 meters, whatever you're shooting, 50 foot, any of those. And your coil, your, your cable's uncoiled, your USB port is up at your laptop. So now what we're gonna do plug the USB into the laptop. So the next thing we're going to do is take your thumb drive out of the package. Okay. We'll take your thumb drive, plug it into one of your USB ports. And if it doesn't auto start, then you can go to your, uh, go to files. USB drive. And there's Seuss Lane installer right there. If you need more instruction on how to do the uh, software installation, there is another video uh, that I made that is uh, screen capture. And that's also under uh, SUS USA. So just go look for that one. It'll show you everything uh, from plugging in the USB to taking your first shot. So I hope this has helped. Um, if you have any issues with your SUS lane, you can always give me a call. Um, call the office, ask for tech support, or you can call my tech support line 803-546 7395. Uh, the office number is 803-699-1800. So I hope this has helped. Happy shooting.